Hello and welcome to What The Math. Today's topic is cumulative frequency graphs. This is a topic that we kind of discussed a little bit before, but today we're going to go into more detail. So for this topic, we need to know two things. One is what is frequency and two is what is percentile. And to learn both of these words, we're going to take a look at example. I believe this is example 17 on page 193. And it's an example uh, about marathon runners. So here we have finishing time of different marathon runners between 2 hours and 26 minutes and 2 hours and 56 minutes. And this is the frequency of how uh, how many finished at what time. So for example, we have 8 runners that finished, ooh, funny color, uh, 8 runners that finished at uh, between 2.26 and 2.28, 3 runners that finished uh, between 2.28 and 2.30 and so on. Um, so now what we're going to do is what we did before, we're going to construct a frequency uh, cumulative frequency table, cumulative frequency table, uh, which will help us figure all of this out. So cumulative frequency table is going to be like this. So first number here is 8. The next number is going to be 8 plus 3, which is 11. The next number after this is 11 plus 9, so it's 20. Then it's going to be 31. Then it's going to be 43, 50. 55, 63, and 69. So this is our uh, cumulative frequency table. And this is what we're going to use to both construct the frequency graph and also analyze it. And this number right here is also our n, so this equals to n, so this is a total number of runners. Now, um, we can, using this, we can basically analyze this um, in different ways. So, for example, we can actually find our lower quartile, Q1, right away by looking at 25% of 69, which is going to be approximately approximately 17. So, this right here is going to be our Q1. Uh, and then our third quartile, or, sorry, our median is half of this. So, that's 69 divided by 2. And that's 35. That's right here. This is our median. And our third quartile is somewhere around here. Um, now, here we can also look at something called uh, percentile. Now, what is percentile? Percentile refers to basically percentage of total frequency. So, in other words, your median is actually also known as the 50th percentile. Whereas your key 3 is known as the 75th percentile because that's 75% of all values. Now in university, you may hear something like, you were in the 19th percentile. If you're a really good student, you'll be in the 19th percentile, which means you're somewhere over here, you're in 90% of, sorry, you're basically a, a 90th percent, or in other words, you're in top, this is like saying top 10% of all students, top 10%. Whereas if you're 10th percentile, you're in, basically, you're in the bottom 10%. So that's what the word percentile refers to. And the last term is cumulative frequency graph, which is basically the topic for, for this chapter. And that's where you, you basically draw a graph using uh, two axes. One axis is this. This is going to be our x axis. And one axis is this. This is our y axis. So on the bottom here, we're basically writing these values. And then on the left side, on the left side, we're, we're writing these values right here. And here is the example from the book. That's basically the graph that we would have drawn right here. So on the bottom here, we have our um, minutes, our hours and minutes. And on top here, we have the cumulative frequency up to number 70, even though our highest number is 69. But this is basically our top person right here. This is the, the person that, uh, also, the, I mean, I meant to say the bottom person. This is the person that came last. Whereas this here is the person that came first. And the top 10th percentile, or in other words, 19th percentile, 19th percentile is about right here, it's at uh, around seven people. So that's kind of right here. These people right here are the top 10%. Whereas this, this right here is the median. This is the median. Now this graph is really uh, useful because now you can basically read um, uh, what certain percentiles managed to accomplish in terms of time. So, for example, if we wanted to find out um, how fast were the 70th percentile or 70% of all the runners, or basically what, where did the 70th percentile end up in terms of time, uh, you can look at this graph 
and find 70% uh, of 69 first. So 70% of 69 is, is approximately 48 and 48 is right here. So now you just go down, uh, go right on the graph, find the crossing and then go down until you find the time. And the time here is just under two hours and 38 minutes. So maybe two hours and 37 minutes. And that's, um, that was the 70th percentile, 70% of all runners. In other words, 70% of all runners took less than two hours and 37 minutes to finish the race. Um, if you want to look at something more precise, so for example, let's just take a look at um, top. Uh, so let's let's go back to this uh, top 10%. Here, the time was something like two hours and 28 minutes because it's right between 30 and 26. So it's about right here. So top 10% of people finished in about two hours and 20 under two hours and 28 minutes. And that's really how basically you read these graphs. Uh, now important, it's important to realize that this here is not percent. It's actually very helpful to put percent here separately. So you can actually write the percentages on the other side, just so you can kind of easily find them if needed. So uh, put your Q1s and Q3s here and put your median and also 100% and 0% so that it's a little bit easier to find values if you need to answer specific questions. Anyway, so this is it for cumulative frequency graphs. It's not a very difficult topic. You just have to understand how to read these graphs and how to construct them if, if that's what the question asks you. All right. Thank you for watching and good luck to you. Bye-bye.